this is NJ Day TV, and um, I have this quick information I want to pass across to us. For years, we've been passing through early the hands of uh, Nigerian police force. So many rubbish has gone land, uh, down the line, and honestly, it's becoming a norm. But something happened this morning. I saw a video on someone's WhatsApp status, and I feel that this is what police should be. You know, every time they will tell us, "Police is your friend. Police is your friend." This is actually what it means to have police as your friend. I think everybody should watch this video. Everybody should share this video. Let it go viral and get into the hands of Nigerian police force. Let them see what it means to say police is your friend. Guys, let's watch. You could say that Garland police officer James Brzeek and Garland resident Cambria Hart have a special connection after what they went through a couple of days ago, an accidental meeting of sorts. We came out of nowhere and we hit each other. And just, I went into shock. Cambria accidentally struck Officer Brzeek's squad car while exiting a gas station off Rowan and Bobtown Roads. She says she had a lot on her mind that day. I was already having a bad day. <laughs> I was trying to pay my rent. And I went to go pick up my son and try to get my title so I can get a title loan. She told me she was having a bad day and just wasn't paying attention, didn't see me. And then her husband showed up and he basically said the same thing. We're having a bad day, We've lost our jobs, and hadn't paid rent. We've got a lot on our mind. Luckily, no one was hurt. But to add to Cambria's growing break of bad luck, her car and the officers were both totaled. I started panicking because I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought I was going to jail. First thing she said was, am I going to jail? I said, no, it was an accident. Accidents happen. In fact, Officer Brzeek didn't even write her a ticket. Now, the story could have ended there, but what happens next is a good example of what it means by going above and beyond. I actually I went home and talked to my wife about it, and uh, I kind of had an idea what I felt I needed to do, and she said, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can help them out. So he called a few friends, fellow school resource officers, and other colleagues from Garland PD. You remember how we met at the wreck and all that? And, and in just a couple of days, collected enough to pay Cambria a surprise visit. We would like to present you with a check for the full amount of your rent for July. So this should help you for this month, and hopefully that'll help you get back on your feet. And then when you get your new job, maybe that'll maybe that'll help with a little bit. It's a gift card for you to get some groceries for four hundred fifty dollars. And since I saw the two babies in the car, I got them something to play with. It's just one of those things I work with an amazing group of people here at the police department and, uh, you know, they really stepped up. It was a team effort. I think it was the babies, uh, you know, just seeing them and, and, you know, I've got three kids of my own and times like this where people are getting laid off and, you know, money's tight. Fortunately, you know, we had enough resources we could give back to, you know, to the citizens here in Garland. I don't even know how to feel right now because it just helps so much and I can get one thing off my, my head and think about the future. <laughs> I want to tell y'all thank you because I know y'all have families and y'all didn't have to. Y'all really didn't. I guess somebody, somebody with a higher power than me was just kind of convicting me a little bit to, you know, at least make an impact on somebody's life. It could have went a whole nother way, but I'm happy that, I'm happy y'all did this. And I'm really grateful. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, you have seen the video, and I want to believe we all have mixed reactions uh, about the video. But I want to see how you feel. I want to know how you feel. So leave your comments below this video and also like, share, and uh, invite your friends to also do the same. Uh, and I want to say to this policeman who did this, God bless you, God bless you. And to every other policeman doing the right thing out there, 
God bless you. And if you're the ones who are doing the wrong thing, who are arresting people illegally, I want to go to your village and take your own God bless you from your village. As for me, God bless this policeman. Thank you.